Hey YouTube, it's Emery and I am back with a testosterone update. Okay, so today is February 12th, 2018 and I am two months on tea today. So I'm gonna go head to toe just like I did last time and talk about each of my changes. We'll start at the top, like I said before. I don't think my hair has thinned any. Um, it's always been kind of thin right here. I might have lost a little bit. I don't know. As you can see, I have acne all everywhere, pretty much. It's not too bad usually, but like two days ago it got really bad, so I don't know if this is gonna be like a regular thing or if this is just a random flare up, but um, yeah, acne kind of sucks. My eyebrows have gotten thicker in this spot at the end. Um, they were always pretty thick, but I think they're filling in and getting wider. My face has changed. I'll put photos in um, about my facial change. I can't really tell a difference anymore, but um, other people have said that my face has done different things. They've noticed like my jaw is thicker. Then my voice changed, but I'll put that in at the end of the video. So wait for that, please, and watch that later. Um, I think my neck has gotten thicker, which I really like. It's like wider than it used to be and my, I think I should probably look and see this t-shirt I have on in um, one of my older Instagram photos and I think my neck comes in a lot more. Like it looks like my neck is skinnier. But like my shoulders are wider and everything. It just, shirts are starting to fit better. Um, my chest has definitely gotten smaller from testosterone. It's kind of weird because my actual body, I think, has gotten bigger. Like, my binders still fit the same size binder that I was wearing before. But now, binders that were too, it, they felt stretched out. Like, they weren't compressing enough. Um, Pretty. And now they're fitting again. But my actual chest is smaller. So I think I've, like, bulked up and kind of gotten wider overall. Which is cool. Um, so, <laughs> my chest stays super flat with the same binders that I was wearing before on, which I'm sure nobody else will notice, but I have. Um, my body shape has stayed pretty much the same. I haven't worked out as much as I was working out in the first month this month, but I'm going to start again, so next month it might be even more different. My happy trail definitely is thicker than it was before. I would show it on the, this will probably be weird. Um, you probably can't see it in video, but I'll put photos in um, of the hair that's grown. It's been kind of a lot, so that's been cool. Facial hair, I forgot that part earlier. I don't know if I'll have before photos because it literally, there was nothing on my face and now I have like hair probably, there's like peach fuzz kind of here and then I'm growing hair on either side and then I have like a tiny soul patchy thing right here <laughs> and then hair across the front of my chin and like right under my muscle definition in my body has changed it's like not so much like super sharp but it's bulked up just without doing much the hair on my legs has gotten thicker i think last update i said like i don't expect my hair leg hair to change because it's always been my legs have always been hairy but the tops of my legs, the leg hair is thicker, and then the bottoms are like the same-ish. My pants have been rubbing the hair off the sides of my legs, which I hate. So it's like really short on the outsides of my calves, and then the insides are super hairy. It's awful. As far as like emotional changes, I'll be irritated quicker, but I can calm myself down. Like I find there's certain points, like random times where I feel Kind of irritated for no reason and like nothing will have sparked it I just am in kind of a bad mood and it'll go away after a while but that's been kind of annoying I don't know if it's just that I haven't been working out as much and that might help when I get back into it it'll probably alleviate that some but I've just randomly been kind of irritable and if something happens that irritates me I get mad about it quicker than I used to and I'm usually a pretty level-headed kind of person since I've become an adult I've been able to like 
control my emotions and it hasn't been hard and now it's uh, suddenly hard again, so that's weird. I think overall, when I go out in public, I've been more confident about going out. Um, my mental health has been a lot better, like, world's better. Um, daily, I just feel better going out. I'm like, okay, and I don't, I'm not as anxious and I'm not worried about what other people are thinking as much as I used to be. I'm less concerned about passing than I used to be. I'm still, I still have issues with it. That's kind of hard, but it's way, way, way better than it was um, before testosterone, which is awesome. I didn't know that it was gonna help me as much as it has, and I'm like eternally grateful for that. Uh, doing my shots has gotten easier. When I first started, I was doing them probably within 10 to 15 minutes of like having my needle prepped. It was taking me like 10 to 15 minutes to actually like go through with doing the shot. And then I hit a wall where I started really struggling with it. And it was taking me like 30 minutes and maybe like 40 minutes, like it was getting bad. And then one day it took me literally all day. I just kept going back to it. I had to switch my needle one time. Um, it was just taking me all day. And for some reason, like I couldn't, like I would just barely poke my skin and I couldn't for some reason push it in. I was like really anxious, just had a really hard time with it. And like 10.30 PM, I finally got it in. So that was awful. Um, but now I'm back on an upswing of it being easier to do. I'm not sure what happened, but <laughs> I've gotten to the point where last week, I'm gonna do my next shot tomorrow, but last Tuesday, it I literally prepped my needle, took a couple deep breaths and then just did my shot. So that's been good. I'm hoping I continue being good about it, but um, we never know. Moving on, um, here's my voice comparison. I used to talk in my head like this. So my voice was very high and now I brought it all the way down to here and this is my speaking voice and I realize it's unnatural for me to talk higher. So. My name is Emery, it is December 12th, 2017 and I got my very first low dose testosterone shot today. My name is Emery, it's January 12th, 2018 and I'm one month on tea today. My name is Emery, it's February 12th, 2018 and I'm two months on tea today. I wanna to do a short update about um, top surgery because I got a definite notification from my insurance provider that transgender surgeries are not covered by my plan. It was very blatant and very like even they said even if um, I were to prove that the surgery was medically necessary, um, which I did, that they're not going to look at it. They said they wouldn't even show it to the usual person who would decide whether or not it was accepted. Um, that person didn't even want to look at my case. So that was a lot. Um, I'll put in a photo of the letter um, of that section that they talked about why they were denying my coverage. I can pause and read it. So it was an official denial. I'm not going to get insurance to cover it. Um, I've raised $1,035 um, and I've been putting in money steadily by myself, but I definitely can't pay for top surgery uh, all at once for sure. Um, so I'm saving money as I can. I'm doing extra work as I can to try to get more money and I'll put my top surgery fund uh, fundraiser website in the link below. It's youcaring.com slash emerytopsurgery. So if you can help at all, or if you can share um, maybe this video or share my website itself, that would be awesome to see if I can get help from other people. Um, but yes, I'm going to try to schedule that in the next year because uh, top dysphoria is my number one source of dysphoria. If you have no money to donate, again, you can just share it. That's all I need. <laughs> um, Thank you so much for everyone who has watched all my videos on this uh, top surgery journey. Um, I'm still on my way, I'm still doing stuff. Okay guys, that's it for this testosterone update. Make sure you look in the description below and I'll put in my Instagram, I post on there every day. Follow my collab channel that I also am a part of. Um, there are other guys on there talking about their first year on T, which is awesome. 
Um, so go and subscribe to that as well. I put updates on myself every single week. And I'll see you guys, I guess, next month. Unless you go subscribe to the other channel. <laughs> okay, bye.